The roots of the Planta family date back to at least 1000 years ago. Ever since then, they have been part of numerous great events that shaped Amphibia's entire history. Who are the members of this family exactly and what do we know about them? In this video, we are tracing back the entire Planta family tree by analyzing the family shrub in addition to the canon info from the show. This version of the Planta family tree begins with Leaf Planta, who would later be known as Lily Planta, having changed her name upon returning to Amphibia. This is because there are in fact no older recordings providing any kind of information about Leaf's ancestors. Besides, considering that she was the one to establish Wartwood and the Planta farm, thereby making the family what it still is today, Leaf is the perfect starting point. She was friends with Andreas, and due to circumstances well known to every Amphibia fan, she retired to a life in the valley, where she later married an unknown frog, with whom she had children. She also invented the Planta hunting dance. Unfortunately, nothing is known about Leaf's line for many generations. All the Planta stayed in Wartwood, attending to their fields. We just don't know who exactly they were. The recordings resume around the late 1780s or 90s, Amphibian Reckoning. From this point on, we can begin combining the canon information with everything we can extract from the family shrub. The shrub's first entry is an unknown green frog, who likely had five children. Great Gam Gam, Wilbur, Uncle Al, the youngest, Pollyanna, and an unknown female frog. Note that the shrub does not show any spouses. Almost nothing is known about Wilbur, except that he was the one to adopt Emma the Newt into the family. Pollyanna is way younger than her siblings. Apparently, she was born in the early 1800s and lived to the 1850s, meaning she almost lived to see 60. According to information from the show, Pollyanna was a turnip farmer and blacksmith. She is also the person Polly's name is inspired by. Uncle L was a farmer like everyone else, but seemingly a very clever one, seeing that he was dubbed the king of single-tiered irrigation systems. Great Gam Gam is said to have been a fan of tradition, liking to do things the old-fashioned way. Besides spending her time knitting, she also put together the family cookbook. Old Gam Gam is Sprig and Polly great-great-great-grandmother. She had one son, Hub and Luck Job Sobody Pop Planta. This is HP's grandfather, therefore Sprig and Polly's great-great-grandfather. Based on his hair and the beard, one can guess that this is supposed to be him. I know that there is no direct branch connection between him and Great Gam Gam, making it seem like this frog is a descendant of Uncle Al, but there are no infos regarding Al's descendants, and it would be weird if Al's descendants were shown, but not Gam Gams. Anyway, Hub and Luck inherited a wooden cane from his unknown father, and later passed it on to his own son. Hub and Luck has some cousins, one of them being Skip Planta, son of Pollyanna. Skip was a scientist and is responsible for the mutated pumpkin in the basement. Nothing more is known regarding this branch of the family. The remaining cousins are Wilbur's children, a purple frog who had three children, two of which met Emma the newt, just like Wilbur's daughter. Emma, despite being adopted, is basically a cousin of Hub and Lux too. She traveled around Amphibia collecting relics before she wound up in Wartwood and settled in with Wilbur at the farm. Incidentally, she was similar to Anne in many ways, physically as well as in her experiences. Now, the only branch left to explore is the line of the current Planta family. Hub and Lux had two children. One of them was Ha Papadi Pa Planta, who is, apart from being a distant cousin to the family members we looked at so far, father to Hapadia Planta, thus great grandfather to Sprig and Polly. Ha Papadi Pap inherited the cane from his father that Ha Pap got from him following his death. Again, based on the hair, the distinctive pompadour, we can guess that this is him. As far as we know, Ha Papadi Pap Planta only had one child, Hapadia, Sprig and Polly's grandfather. Neither do we know who Hapap had a child with, nor do 
we know if they separated willingly or if his former wife died. Additionally, it was never revealed who of Sprig and Polly's parents was Harpap's child. Anyway, Harpap is spending his last years with his new girlfriend Sylvia Sundu, who is by the way mother to Felicia and grandmother to Ivy. Mr. and Mrs. Planta gave birth to Sprig and Polly before finding their bitter end during the heroin attack on the village. Nothing beyond that is known about them. Apart from Sprig and Polly and Boon Choi and Frobo have officially become members of the Planta family, thereby counting as Harpap's adopted grandchildren. Sprig is currently in a relationship with Ivy Sandu. Furthermore, Sprig is an honorary Boon Choi. Therefore, he can officially be called an adopted son to Mr. and Mrs. Boon Choi and brother to Anne. The only member left to be named is Cousin Stanley, a frog who claimed to be a cousin to exploit the Plantar's hospitality, going so far as to paint his skin red to blend in with the family. Should there ever be more members in the future, like Harpabody Please Sub Planta, make sure to return for an updated version of the family tree.